What's going on YouTube, GSNow8 here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to block the iOS updates on your device so that you don't get them automatically downloaded anymore and you don't get updates automatically applied, you know, during the night and stuff like that. This will help you a lot if you want to jailbreak since it will prevent the device from updating automatically and of course, preventing you from jailbreaking since you are always on the latest version. Now, I presented this method in the past with the tvOS profile, but the iOS 10 tvOS profile is no longer working since iOS 10 is no longer a thing. So um, we're going to use the iOS 11 uh, tvOS profile that will block the iOS um, updates right away. So uh, I'm going to go ahead here in uh, Safari and you need to do this with Safari. Now I also have the uh, Chrome as you can see on my screen but no you need to use Safari for this. Then uh, you will need to go ahead and paste the link from the description down below. If you're clicking the link from the YouTube application make sure you're uh, running it in the Safari since the web view that pops up from uh, the YouTube application on your phone will not work. Okay, so uh, we're going to say paste and go. The link, as I said, is in the description. Do not worry. Uh, and um, here we are. It shows up a couple ads and stuff. And yeah, it's, it's not the uh, cleanest website, but... Yeah, I found this link. So anyways, it says tvOS 11 beta profile mobile configuration. So uh, we're going to press the slow download since that one is free, but do not worry, it's not a big file, so it's probably instant for you as well. You need to click allow in here and it will go in here. It, it will show you tvOS 11 beta software profile and it's verified. And this is uh, how you know it's the Apple official profile. It says verified and it's also saying that it's coming from Apple Incorporated. Now you press install and you will need to pop in your passcode if you have one. I'm going to do that. Okay, so after you pop in your passcode, it's going to ask you for your consent. You press install, you press install again, and it will ask you to restart your phone. And you need to restart it in order to apply the changes. And of course, in order to not be able to find any updates anymore. So I'm going to restart my phone and be right back. Okay, so we're back from the uh, reboot and now we have on the screen the feedback application. You probably know about it because it installs itself automatically once you get a, a beta profile. Now we're not going to use it and unless you accept it, uh, it has some sort of consent. And unless you accept it, it's not going to send anything to Apple. So what we're going to do is to take it and simply move it into the extra so that we do not get uh, buffered by it. Now we need to go here to settings and see if we get any updates. So software updates. Now I'm already running the latest version on this particular device, but in your case, it's going to tell you that your version is uh, up to date, even though maybe you're like two or three or even five versions behind. So yeah, I'm currently running the latest version since this one is my daily driver and I'm keeping it updated. But uh, in your case, as I said, it's no longer going to download any updates anymore. So it's no longer going to consume your um, data plan or it's not going to slow down your Wi-Fi since it's no longer carrying out any sort of updates or downloads. If you want to re-enable the download for the software update, you just need to go ahead and remove the profile. To do that, you just need to go ahead and here in the general and of course you go to the profile Select this iOS, uh, sorry, tvOS 11 beta software profile, and of course, you need to remove it. You press remove, you put your uh, passcode, and you restart the device. After the restart, you will be able to get uh, the updates again if you decide you need updates. But um, as long as you have this profile, and as long as you keep it up, for example, when iOS 12 will come out, you will need a new profile. But anyways, as long as you have the profile installed, you should not receive any more updates. So yeah, thank you for watching. That's pretty much it. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geo Snow, signing out.